Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in this afternoon for Jim Lakey. Today is Friday, April the 5th. Um, this is Cable Channel 3 News and you can also catch your information on the web at sandylandcenter.org. Right now in the square, it is a sunny 58 degrees. Feels very sunny and warm, going towards a high of 71 this afternoon with partly cloudy and windy. Winds may be up to 25 miles per hour. Saturday, it should be mostly sunny again with a high of 75. And Sunday, we should have some scattered showers, some scattered thunder showers thunderstorms with a high of 72 and Monday we may have some isolated thunderstorms with a high though of 76. Tuesday it should be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 73. We have some happy birthdays today. Happy birthday going out to Christopher Boyle. Christopher happy birthday to you and happy anniversary to Howard and Aura Coin. And tomorrow we want to wish Jan Shields a very, very happy birthday. We also have some congratulations to our new mayor. Our new mayor um, is Julian Owens, and we have two new council members, Mark Bryant and Sherry Williamson. Congratulations to you all. Um, some ongoing activities in the community. Uh, we've been talking about the pie and <laughs> and pizza, and that's coming up. Um, at Poppy's Pizza at 5:30 we meet for pizza at Poppy's, and then 6:45 we leave for Stafford. They will go and see the movie Life of Pie, and Pie is a 16-year-old boy who leaves. Um, for America, gets shipwrecked, gets tangled up with some animals, and it makes for a very, very exciting movie. And it has been awarded a, an Academy Award winner, and so it is an interesting movie. So come on out, mark your calendars, and see that movie. The seniors, the juniors and the seniors, their plays coming up on April the 13th through the 14th. The junior senior play this spring will be presented in the St. John High School Auditorium on Saturday evening, April the 13th at 7.30 and on Sunday afternoon, April the 14th at 2. The play this year is a comedy, Afraid of the Dark by James Breach. And if you come, you will find an outrageously funny situation, terrific pace, mystery, tingling response, and above all, laughs, laughs, laughs. I'm looking forward to that. So mark your calendars for either those two days, April the 13th or the 14th in the St. John's School Auditorium. Also, we have the week of the young child. This is April the 14th through the 20th. It's all about the early years, our learning years. And the Ida Long Memorial Library, um, Bridges to Learning, Preschool, and Stafford County parents as teachers join together to provide an evening of fun activities that will be sure to have your preschoolers yearning for learning. So we want you to save this date, Monday, April the 15th, at the Ida Long Memorial Library. And all families with preschools, eight children are invited to this family affair. But for that whole week, there'll be other activities. So do mark your calendars for April the 14th through the 20th, that is the week of the young child. Also, the, the, there's a free child care, free child car seat check. And it's been put on by Trooper Jeff Shaw. 
and he's a certified child passenger safety technician. He and others will be checking to make sure the, the car seat is properly installed. And that's going to be on April the 20th at, from 9 to 12.30 at the St. John Fire Station. Uh, some interesting facts about car seats is that, for one, they do have an exp expiration date and an average out of four out of every five car seats are installed incorrectly. And so there's also different car seats have recall dates, so with all those need to be checked in and for you to be aware of that. So Jeff is going to have this free child car seat check on April the 20th from 9 until 12, 12.30. And this is not a police check, so they won't be checking your license or anything. So do come out and make sure the child seats are okay. And this event is made possible by the Kansas Highway Patrol and the St. John Fire Department. Also with the EMS Department. The library also has a an annual book sale and it, this year's three three days it starts on Thursday April the 25th uh, so mark your calendars for that also starting on April the 25th from 3 until 6 30 and friends of the library are free members who are friends of the library are free but for others it's only a dollar so we look forward to that and we have some menus also um, from the Maxwell Senior Center and today it should be some either chili or beef stew with a tossed salad, pepper, carrots, apricots and got some good old cinnamon rolls. Sound very warming. And uh, then they start the week off next Monday with cream peas, Brussels sprouts, homemade bread I suppose, peaches and Oven fried chicken on Tuesday, mashed potatoes, beets, rolls, and mandarin oranges. All very healthy. And now that the weather is um, getting nicer, don't forget to um, come out and support the Stafford Mercantile. Uh, they have fountain specials on Sunday. The floats are half price. And Monday, you can buy one single dip cone and get one free. Tuesday, Hot fudge Sunday, half price, and Wednesday ice cream soda, buy one, get the second one at half price. So with the warmer weather, that should be enticing. And our thought for today is, the biggest difficulty with mankind today is that our knowledge has increased so much faster than our wisdom. The biggest difficulty with mankind today is that our knowledge has increased so much faster than our wisdom. I would say that's very true, wouldn't you? Have a good weekend.